uh, we call them mortars. We all know that profitable business do attract competitors. So staying here, you probably need to compete with others to stay in for a very long time. This same land we see Cape Coast Castle on had once changed hands from the Portuguese, then came the Swedish, then came the Denmarks, then came the Dutch, and the English were the last group here. The Portuguese stayed in for almost 100 years, Swedish stayed in for four years, Denmark stayed in for three years, Dutch stayed in for three years, and the English stayed in for 296 years on this particular land. Because they came 1664 and then left 1960 on this land. So this castle, we do say the English started around 1664. So Ghana became a Republican country. Coming here, the new enemies will come fight them. So they brought these metals, as we can see. When they see enemies coming, first, they put in gunpowder. These cannonballs we see down there, they place one at the mouth. They light the match. Then the fire will touch the, uh, the, the gunpowder. Then, boom, the balls are to move. So a series of these smaller balls would enter enemy ship, create holes. Water would get into the ship. The, sink will, uh, the ship will sink into the sea. But then when the ship makes it closer, that is where they use mortars. Because mortars balls are bigger with holes. So they pack gunpowders in there. So that once it hits the ship, it can explode for the ship to sink faster. And for that, the English could survive here for the slippery air. We are all